All right, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about how to get good at the speed bag. There's multiple ways to do it, but and everyone has their own way at good at, good at the speed bag. What I'd like to recommend is that you start with techniques that you know, and then build out your repertoire. Kind of like a heuristic. You want to learn the moves and subtleties of one technique and then use your knowledge of that and set execution of it to see if you can overlap some of your previous knowledge into learning another similar technique quicker. One example I'll point out. <clears throat> Boxer style, everyone knows the forward circle punch with three rebounds, looks like this. Now there are multiple ways to advance this technique. The most common one that you see on a lot of speedback videos is people doing it faster. So from this to right. But speed bag improvement is yes the, the the speed in which you can take a technique either from fast to slow or even from um, slow to fast sorry usually usually slow to fast but sometimes you want to take a technique and work it down to as slow as possible developing the comfort to execute said technique with good accuracy such as attempting it 10 times and getting it 9 out of 10 or even 8 out of 10 that's perfectly good um, trying different tempos with it, that's great. But one other thing to work on in learning these feedback techniques is figuring out how to chain it into the next technique or flowing into the next one. This process works a little bit differently for everybody because inherently there are going to be techniques that some people pick up very quickly. On the contrast, there are some techniques where people will pick them up a bit more slowly or it just it just takes more cooking to finally unlock that flavor so let me just point out a few things that can be done in order to transition into techniques so I'm a very big component of the the fist rolls the forward and the backwards variety so and backwards reason why these forward rolls are so very good to cultivating a lot of the necessary background for your other skills is because this teaches you proper hand tension and this teaches you accuracy on how to hit the bag from one side of the bag. It doesn't matter when you transition to learning the stuff from the rear of the bag, the sides of the bag. As long as you have a as you have a working knowledge of how it's supposed to sound and feel on your hands, your body positioning, the amount of power, tension, or relaxation you're putting into it, as long as you have good data that you know on what is supposed to what it's supposed to sound like on a good hit, then you can similarly try to reach that similar level of skill whenever you're learning a new technique. So one way you can flow from the forward roll or the reverse roll is through linking. So, and alternate this. doing there is usually either a forward roll into linking or a reverse fist roll into linking. The concept is the same, I'm just stirring the sauce a little bit differently, but it's still very much, you know, the same progression. Now, when you link in elbows, 
The important carryovers that you want to take after you've learned these is that you want to you don't want to force movement if possible or at least you don't want to force excessive movement especially in elbows because the uh, the contact point of your elbows versus your hands right your, your hand has a lot of small bones in it so there's a lot of room to either make it as compact as a hammer fist or you can kind of loosen it up and like have a little bit more play and softness into it your elbows are much more harder to control because it's a very solid bone here right which usually means that you need to kind of tone this down by nature if you don't want to hit it too hard and make it spiral out of control so let me illustrate that Some people also, if you want to take it a step back, you can just do a single elbow. So. But I figure, since you're already going through the trouble of learning elbows anyways, why not just learn the double hit version of it so your fist to your elbow or your elbow to your fist because if you start from or at least attempting to learn from that double hit version then you'll learn proper alignment between your hand and your elbow uh, some of the common problems that can be encountered when you're attempting to learn the single version of it is that you may be used to approaching your elbows on a like a 45 angle downward slant right which will help you land the single elbows, you know, pretty accurately on the bag. But then whenever you bring in your fist again, you know, sometimes, yes, you may want the 45 degree downward momentum with your hand into the elbow like this, right? But especially when you're chaining multiple moves off of your elbows, you usually want to keep these guys on the same plane. Because then it becomes easier to chain in other stuff. So like even off these elbows here, right? I want to go back to the linking. Here, back to linking. Elbows, back to linking. Here, back to linking. And then rolling back here. As you can see, I'm mixing and matching three different techniques. Um, commonly, either the double elbow strike or the triple, right? A fist roll, forward or backward, and then linking. Just three things, three concepts, but if done smoothly and with good transition from one to the other, that's a good flow, okay? Now, this is just one aspect in which you can learn to improve on and flow different techniques together. The beauty of this is that you can shape your path, your expression, however you want. And this video is only just meant to illustrate just one aspect of it. But regardless, I hope this turns on a couple light bulbs for you guys to experiment around and to play around with the progress because um, it's the journey that's important. It's your own little sandbox to try out things that work and do not work for you. And if things work out for you very early, fantastic. Sharpen it and make it flow. If it's a little bit you know, harder than normal, I mean, yes, you can grind it out, but that may also be a cue for you to explore different things because you can always revisit stuff. 
I'm not too hot on inward elbow techniques, which is why in most of my videos, I usually either resort to the out downward elbow variation, which is elbows going down. Or the outward one where I start with my elbow here and then I go outward. So commonly like this. There are multiple guys who can, you know, are very familiar with the inward elbow combination. They can do crazy stuff like... Uh, I'm not quite there yet, okay? But that's okay. Um, you know, depending on how you feel about your progression, what techniques you revolve, you know, naturally revolve to, and some that you're, you know, not as hot at, that's okay. Figure out what is pleasurable for you. Figure out what makes it fun and organic for you, and then put in the time to get good at it. Put in the time to get proficient at it, and just enjoy the process so hope that helps